You know, I've done all the Thanksgiving classics, the turkeys, the stuffings, the potatoes. But nowadays, it's very common to be at least one person who doesn't really eat meat at your holiday gathering this year. And as a host, you need to consider those people. So today we're gonna make an amazing flavorful broth made from vegetable scraps and vegetables that we're gonna turn into this amazing gravy for a vegetarian main course that we're making later this month. So let's just jump right into it. Massimo Bottura is an Italian chef that I admire a lot. He does a lot of work thinking about how to minimize food waste. And one of his recipes that live up to that ideal is what he calls the broth of everything. It takes lots of vegetable scraps, onions, skins, reserved carrots, parsnips, lots of fall flavors, cuts them up, dehydrates them in an oven overnight, and then extracts the flavor out of them in a broth. Now the thing about this is it is a an extraction, not a reduction, similar to like a tea. So last night to start this thing, a lot of fall vegetable flavors, things that I know are gonna be prepared on Thanksgiving day. I got some mushrooms, that bag of veggie scraps we made from the last video we did. Some potatoes along with those potato skins sliced up. Small diced parsnips, small diced carrots. Sliced onion with their skins. Celery roots sliced thinly. And some garlic and you can throw them with their paper and their stem and all. We're gonna scatter them all over a sheet tray lined with parchment paper and toss that into a 150 degree oven. Maybe the lowest setting in your oven. If your oven is particularly weak, maybe you could crank it up to like 175, but anything under 200 and you're not really gonna get much color on it. So you're gonna be pretty safe there. You wanna keep them in there for like a minimum of like 10 to 12 hours and you can even go beyond that but that's about the amount of time you're gonna to need to dehydrate them. In the morning, you give them a check, I give it a little bit of a mix, and then what you're gonna do is bump up the heat to about 350, and you're gonna almost gonna like caramelize them a little bit in this final stage for maybe 30 minutes. Just keep an eye on it, spin the sheet tray around, and the vegetables should be nice and concentrated in their flavor at this point. They just need a few more minutes before they're done. It just gives me a second to just mention my holiday plan of attack, which is now on sale in the link down in the description. It's got all my holiday recipes, prep times, ingredient lists, exclusive content on a little webpage on my website. If you're a Patreon member, you already have access to this for free. Otherwise, there's a link down in the description to buy it. It's gonna be $15 a year and it renews every year. And the money raised from this goes to help me pay people who help make this show happen behind the scenes. So if you wanna support the show, one way to do it, become a patron or pick up the plan of attack and uh, that helps me a lot. So thanks for the support. After about 30 to 40 minutes, the vegetables should be sufficiently dried out and concentrated. There should be this delicious roasted vegetable aroma happening right now. And this is what you get left. It's, for lack of a better word, like a vegetable tea. And you can start to smell the different savory aromas starting to come out of it. And now what we wanna do is just get this into a whole bunch of water. We're gonna head on over to the stove. We're going to add all this into the water, bring it up to a, a boil, and then drop it down to a real slow simmer. We don't wanna boil this or reduce it. We're trying to extract all of these flavors, so we're gonna go with a real gentle simmer. Got a large pot with about 12 cups of fresh cold water to it, and I'm just gonna to start to add those dehydrated vegetables to the pot of water. I'm gonna add a little bit of fresh thyme and a little bit of fresh rosemary, and then I'm gonna bring that all up to a boil and then drop it down to a really low simmer. You want bubbles just starting to breach the surface of the water. Once you get it there, you just wanna drop the heat and keep it there for about two to four hours until the broth is deep in color and really flavorful. It smells delicious, it smells like Thanksgiving. Now I'm not gonna season it until it's final use, but I do wanna taste it. I'm gonna taste it without seasoning and then with seasoning. It's obviously very vegetal in a good way. 
You wanna make sure you balance everything. You can't just have like a ton of carrots in here or else it's gonna taste so sweet that it's not gonna work in a savory preparation. So this is great. I wanna taste it seasoned, so I'm just gonna take a little flaky salt, put it into the spoon. Yeah, that's good. Again, there's no meat in it, but it does taste reminiscent of those Thanksgiving aromas and flavors, which is what I'm going for. So let's strain it. You got your fine mesh strainer that you should have if you've been following uh, my holiday recipes. You're gonna need this. This is important for sauces and broths and all sorts of stuff. There should be links down in my Amazon store for that. That's gonna be plenty for like a family of vegetarians, let alone a few people. So we've got about six cups here. You can make more always. You could always re-extract some more flavor out of there, use more water, and you'll get more broth. But this is a nice flavorful broth that I'm happy with. I'm just gonna let this cool down and then we're gonna put it into quart containers and we're gonna store it until we use it next week. What the, what is it? this thing doesn't work. Pyrex, come on. That's really annoying. But you know, what are you gonna do? Veggie broth is really as easy as that. There's a lot of ways you can add to it. You can add tomato paste into it. You can kind of figure out ways to kind of create more depth of flavor. But in the essence of just simplicity, if you want to create a solid vegetable stock, this is, in my opinion, a fantastic method. The vegetable broth is in the fridge. I've got a good little plan for our vegetarian friends. So if you're a vegetarian or you're hosting Thanksgiving, you're gonna to wanna to tune in next week and see what we're making. This recipe and more are gonna be linked down in my holiday plan of attack if you wanna go grab that. Thanks to all my patrons scrolling up on the screen. I appreciate you all. A quick little plug, and I know it's early, but they take a while to ship, so I kind of have to start talking about it, but it's my Christmas time tees. Long sleeves, we got the three quarter length sleeves. Christmas time is rapidly approaching, so if you want to grab them, click the Christmas time link in the description and you can pick some up. Anyway, that's all that I have today. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, take care of yourself and go feed yourself.